Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hey everyone and welcome back to Fork and Fly. This is a long awaited video. I am remaking my shrimp and crab pop salmon. This has been six years long. Let's get started. All the measurements depend on the size of salmon you'll be using. Take your softened butter, add some seasoning, which is garlic, obey, onion powder, pepper, some paprika. Give that a good mix together. Set that aside. And now I love my vegetable chopper. It cuts everything in half <laughs> if you are interested in it everything is in the description so we're going to cut up our vegetables we have an onion don't forget everything is basically to towards your preference and the size of your salmon look how easy that was <laughs> i love it i love it Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong by this. I also have a uh, red pepper. Sometimes you gotta give it a little more oomph, depending on how hard the vegetable is. But once it goes down, it cuts great. I also added a green pepper. You can also add yellow peppers, but I didn't. Everything is basically up to your preference. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Garlic, I added garlic to my mixture. You can also use minced garlic or just keep it at your garlic powder, but I had some fresh garlic on hand, so that's why I added it to the mix. Now we have about two tablespoons of softened cream cheese. I'm gonna add some of your veggies. I actually cut more than what I needed, so I'm taking some out. <laughs> you don't need all those veggies unless you want like a hefty amount of veggies in your dish. I reuse all the seasonings that I use when I mix the butter mixture. I cut up my shrimp, some bite-sized pieces. You can keep it whole size, but I like the bite-sized pieces, but add that to your cream cheese and vegetable mixture. Also, add your lumped crab meat. I got the one that was in the refrigerator aisle. I wasn't <laughs> cutting no crab legs. But yeah, so this is the size of the salmon that I'm using, and I'm just seasoning the salmon with all the seasonings that I used before. Now I'm putting that butter mixture. For a tip, you may want to melt your butter more than just leaving it to be softened. Therefore, it can spread better on your salmon, and not like mine. When I did it six years ago, I actually um melted my butter and not tap it soften now you want to put that mixture of your shrimp crab meat vegetables and cream cheese on top of your salmon if you want it thick put all of your mixture if you want it thin Put a little bit, it's totally up to you. Spread it out, get it a nice even coat. Doesn't this look good? Pop it in the oven for 375, about 20 minutes, depending on how thick your salmon is. And put it under the broil for a couple of minutes so it gets brown. I could have browned mine a little bit more, but I didn't. 
I'm checking the temperature here. It's at 165, so it is good to go. If you don't have a thermometer, get you one. I'll also leave that in the description. And now here goes the cutting. Mm. I'm so glad to be able to do this six years ago. This is one of my most popular videos here on YouTube. And y'all asked for it, y'all got it. This is the 2023 version of crab and shrimp top salmon. It was so good. I'm so glad I made it. If you make it, leave a comment. Let me know how it comes out. If you change anything, let me know. But always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.